What's going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with another episode of the Darren McDonald Be a Pro series for NHL 22. If you haven't already, scroll down and hit that like button because it's better than in this one. We're taking on the 8th place Vegas Golden Knights. We are at the trade deadline, but we are 19th in the National Hockey League. Had a real rough go for a while. And we are not doing quite so hot, just sitting six games above 500. So here's hoping we can turn that all around, man. I will see you guys on the ice at the halfway point of this one. So here we go into Vegas to take on the Golden Knights. I know that we have had a bit of a problem with discipline the last little while, but we're hoping to get that all on track, taken care of. And what better way to start off than jumping into this first game up 3-0. We are currently on an eight-game losing streak, <laughs> which is absolutely catastrophic. we got to turn that one around. So here we go. D to the mat getting on the ice for the first time in this flipping game. So... Artem Zub playing for the Golden Knights. Gets it up to Brown. I don't know which Brown it is. It's probably Connor Brown. <laughs> Here we go. Nolan Patrick. Big shot. Nice stop by Capo Kakinen. And Jaden Schwartz is terrified to go for that puck. But he finally gets it when it bounces basically to him. And Jaden Schwartz gets it up to D to the Mac. What a shot and the rebound. But Jaden Schwartz just couldn't get there. And Brown is going to get that one up to Nolan Patrick yet again. Coming into the Seattle zone. Big shot. Nice stop by Kakinen. And we are going to get a whistle. Gets it up to Jamie Alexiak. And Johnny Goudreau takes it into the O zone. Oh, what a weird little pass back to D to the Mac. But I was heavily guarded. Artem Zub. Can't hold on to that thing. Johnny Hockey gets it back around to Yanni Gord. I'm going to try and get kind of in front of the net here. And, man, Jakob Larson just does nothing to hold on to that puck. And here comes Evgeny Dodonov. Nice shot on Capo Kak and a nice stop. And Jakob Larson gets it to the Mac attack. And I tried to throw it to Alexiak. I threw it like eight feet behind him for whatever reason. And boo, get out of the way, Johnny Hockey. <laughs> okay, back to the point. Jakob Larson right in front. What a shot. What a goal. <laughs> Yanni Gord with his 16th of the season, assisted by D Mac and Jakob Larson. That was kind of unreal, man. Oh, what a beautiful goal! And it is 4 0 for the freaking Seattle Kraken, baby. I don't mind that one little stinking bit. So, still no one to go to. All right, off the boards, back to Johnny Hockey, right in front. Oh, and D Mac takes a devastating hit. And it's time to go. It's time to get off the ice. There you go. Johnny Hockey with a shot, and it's no good. That shift was way too long, man. But, as I said before, 4 to nothing for the Seattle Kraken. We want to hold on to that lead or even make it bigger. Let's make it gross, man. But there's only 46 seconds left. 30 seconds left in the power play. We are the number one power play line. But we were obviously pretty tired by the time we got out there. And there's Eberle, but he's not moving. He got the puck, and then he just got petrified and dead stopped. Because that's, you know, the, the wisest thing we could do. Here's D-Mac with it. Oh, sneaking back out in front. But the backhander's no good. And Dylan Coughlin is going to be able to sneak his way away, away from the D-Mac. D to the flipping Mac there. And we are entering the final 10 seconds of this period. Jaden Schwartz gets murdered along the boards by Chandler Stevenson. Is that Chandler Stevenson? I think it is, right? Oh, Yanni Gord, we're gone. Two on, oh, breakaway. <laughs> we run out of time. And that's going to kill the second period, man. Ah, oh, brutal. So put 20 minutes back on the clock as always as we attempt to even farther widen this margin, make it absolutely disgusting, and just embarrass the hell out of the Vegas Golden Knights, who'd probably have the nicest center ice circle in the National Hockey League, if I'm being totally honest. Look at that. That's a work of art, man. It's beautiful. A little busy, but it's beautiful here at T-Mobile Arena. And here comes Shea Shea Theodore. And Gio's going to block that one. And big Bill Hells Carlson is going to take a shot. And it's no good. Look, Oh, my God. I took freaking trampoline stick back to back back on the attack there with the trampoline stick. And there's Mark Stone. Stoney. Stoney gets that one around the net. Over to big, 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 big Bill Hells Carlson. English is not my first language today. And there we go. Oh, man. I was too tied up. Well, not tied up. It was, it was too busy. There was too many people there. And here comes Petro. Oh, yeah, my stick. I just lost all control of it. It just went limp, chicken. Here we go. Will Carlson takes a nice shot on net. And a nice easy stop by Capo Kak. And Matty Dumba gets it to Geo. Geo, he's doing ninja deeks in his own defensive zone for whatever ungodly reason. Back to the point. Matty Dumba. Oh, he's getting in front of the net. Big shot. That one hits a couple of bodies. Somebody felt that one. <laughs> 
um, that by the end of this week, we were going to be done the regular season. I'm thinking it's more going to be Monday. We're going to do, I've said it before and I'll say it again, we are going to do videos for uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, and then we're going to take Friday and Sunday off because Christmas. Oh, I was doing Ninja Deeks behind the net there. We got someone open. Oh, look at this. Oh, man, it didn't make it. <laughs> Little backhand feed over to Johnny Hockey, who was wide open at the side of the net, and it was just no good. We're actually getting outshot in this game. My goodness. Shots are 22 to 20 in favor of Vegas, and we're up 4 nothing. That is wild wildness. My goodness. But yeah, I made a video on Tuesday, and that's the reason why the regular season in this series is not over just yet, uh, because that new patch came out that added the shot versus pass bias. I wanted to make a little video about that. So there was a video on it, it was like Tuesday or something like that, about the shot versus pass bias and everything, and how it really is a game changer, man. It's like, this game is so different now. No, I tried for a little shot, and that was no good. All right, Mark Stone's tying me up a little bit behind the net, but we're loose. We're loose. Oh, G R uh, G O. Freaking, I was going to go for Yanni Gord, and then he got tied up by Shea Theodore, but we're probably not off the ice yet. Whiny videos, which I'm usually not very happy about. You know what? Uh, Turn back, turn back. We still got it. Oh, baby, look at this. Look at these handles. This kid can't get taken off the puck. Oh, that one goes off a of body, and Yanni Gord gets the rebound, and it's no good. Whipping that one around the net. Johnny Hockey back to DMAC. Oh, Yanni. Bam! What a pass. What a goal. <laughs> Yanni Gord gets another one, and that's his second of the night. 17th of the season on a tremendous feed from the Mac attack. Look, Johnny Hockey to DMAC circling back. Oh, just, just puts it deep. Shea Theodore just can't recover in time. Gorgeous. In front of Yanni Gord. Oh, I thought maybe it would bounce up in front of me, and I couldn't even get... The poke check afterwards when Shea Theodore picks that one up. But here comes Mark Stone. Oh, he's getting tied up with Yanni Gord, baby. But he is able to get it to Jonathan Marchessault. But Matty Dumbo makes a great defensive play. Get it up to the Mac attack. Mac attack in the zone. Let's just, uh, nah. Nah, I don't got the angle. I'm saying to pass, and I'm just not doing that. Uh, oh, what have you done? <laughs> oh, hold on to the damn thing. <laughs> Johnny Hockey. Oh, what a feed, what a feed, what a feed. Oh, trying to sneak in. On, that's Vitek Vanacek. All right, all right. So Robin Leonard is out of the net. He has not played tremendous. I didn't see them changing their goalies. But here we go, baby. Simulating on ahead. Oh, we got a sim goal. Come on, 6 nothing. Come on. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Nolan Patrick puts it past Capo Kakinen. Mr. Capo Kakinen. Oh, my God. Would someone move? Do something. What are you doing, man? All right, Vegas takes that one back. They go into the Seattle zone, and Carlson is, like, impossible to take off the puck as well. But now Johnny Hockey's got it, and he's coming down. Oh, he takes a monster hit. Mark Stone trying to go around his own net, gets it to Hag, up to Marcheseau. Marcheseau, oh, he's having trouble. Oh, he's having some troubles. Yanni Gord steals it away. We are in the zone, and I'm getting freaking tied up on Carlson. Jesus. Uh, the saucer feed. Oh, back to Matty Dumba. That was my bad. That was a bad feed, man. I'm trying to steal it away. I got it. I got it. Yanni Gord. Oh, oh, oh the hat trick. Six to one, baby. <laughs> Yanni Gord, he knew to go to that the left side of that net, and that is his 18th of the season hat trick goal for Yanni Gord here in Las Vegas. Insult to injury. The two newest expansion teams taking on each other. It's looking like Seattle is reigning supreme today, baby. I was going to say, Yanni Gord, are you open for another one? Oh, he got it back right in front of the net. Oh, and he shoots it just wide. Going for number four. <gasps> going again. Oh, you freaking imbecile. Look at the defense. They just split themselves right in half. Whaboom! Look at that defensive play by the Mac attack, baby. Trying to stay kind of in front of our own net. Shea Shea. Oh, he's going to whine and fire off his own teammate's stick. And Marcheseau's stick explodes on that one. We got 40 seconds to go in this game, but I'm getting off the ice. And that is going to kill it. Ladies and gents, we are killing this game 6-1 to one for the Seattle Kraken. And that is going to be game. Here we go. Zero seconds on the clock. Much needed. Massive win for the Seattle Kraken. And I will see you guys at the halfway point of the next one. So the Seattle Kraken that are back on the upswing are in Chicago at the Madhouse, the United Center in Chicago, Illinois, 
down four to two, taking on the Blackhawks. Nice win by Yanni Gord back to Johnny Hockey to Jaden Schwartz. Oh, that one took a funky deflection, and D-Max got her behind the net. The Mac attack. Oh, I was almost looking for you, Yanni. Right in front, Johnny Hockey. Right in front to Eberly. Eberly. Oh, he throws it away to Henrik Borgstrom, and we were on the power play. I didn't even realize we were on the power play right now. So the puck goes back into the Seattle zone. Ebbs gets it up to the Mac attack. Oh, and I fumbled it because of course I did. <laughs> Funky little ninja deeks. And then I got stuck in cement. What the hell? Oh, this game sometimes. Here comes Johnny Hockey. He's got the puck in his own zone. Brings it through the neutral zone. Nice feed up to Yanni Gord. Oh, I'm open. But you're getting knocked around. <gasps> Yanni Gord. Oh, baby, what a pass. What a goal. And D-Mac, I didn't even realize I had both simulation goals. So that's a damn hat trick for the Mac attack. What's that? Number 47 on the season. Oh, man. Are we going to be a... Well, I know we're going to be 50 goal scorers this year. Like, God, I just know. We got, like, 13 games to get three goals, and we're snipers. Like, it's just, you know, it's it's basically a done deal. It's going to happen. <laughs> Could you imagine if we had another couple of, like, multi-goal games, though, and we got to 60 goals? Wouldn't we be the first player since... Uh, Oh, God. We'd be the first player since Stamkos to get 60 goals in a season or something. It was either Stammer or Ovi. Uh, I can do that, Coach. I'll swing the momentum in our foot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up the pressure. So we're down by one, D-Mac, with a hat trick. And the coach still has the audacity to ask more out of us. Kirby Doc bringing it into the Seattle zone. But here we go, baby. Simulating on ahead to our next shift. Oh, we got a sim goal. Come on, boys. Oh, Brett Connolly. Didn't they wave you? <laughs> You're not even on the team anymore. Uh, so one minute to go in the second. Here we go. Yanni Gord, take that into the ozone, baby. Nice shot. That one bounces straight up. And I think, what is it? Alex Stalock is in net for the show. What is this? I hate that about this. Your whole team. They act like you don't exist. So they just skate in front of you all day. <laughs> Johnny Hockey, baby. Coming into the ozone. Johnny Hockey, he doesn't know what he's doing. Crossover, and then he drop feeds it. Jamie Alexiak. Oh, boo. Back in front. Jesus. Just shoot. I don't even care. <laughs> oh! Holy matter. Gets that one up to Borgstrom. And that's going to kill the second period. My goodness. What an irritating turn of events at the end there. Put 20 minutes back on the clock, as always, as we attempt to continue trying to come back in this damn game against the Chicago Blackhawks, man. Here at the United Center in Chicago, Illinois. Happiest place on earth, the Madhouse. So, Gio gets that one off the draw. Up to Johnny Hockey, who just kind of plays thumb war with Patty Kane for a while there. Patty Kane gets it over to Kirby Doc. Over to Alex the Cat, and the Cat cannot get the shot off. Every once in a while, I'm like, Kakinen, if you'd just not poke check that, that'd be kind of fantastic, man. If you just stay in the damn net. All right, here we go. Morgan Riley. Wow, all right, D-Mac pulls that one away, Seth Jones. Oh, he's tough, he's tough. All right, throw back around behind the net. Johnny Hockey's got it. They're up in front. Uh, Yanni Gord. Oh, what a diving save. You gotta be joking with that save, man. <laughs> that was gross. All right, Alex the Cat coming in. Oh, I tried to hit him. I can't hit him. Patty Kane, whoa, what a sneaky shot through the legs of the defender in Capo Kakin and had to be pretty flipping quick to stop that one. And there's Seth Jones over to Patty Kane. Oh my goodness, what a save by Kakinen. But he was left absolutely helpless. And here's Yanni Gord. Oh, he doesn't shoot. Instead, he's trying to Connor McDavid, Seth Jones. And it's just not going to happen. So I'm getting off the ice. That's going to kill our first shift. Oh, Alex the Cat just walks right in and shoots. So we're simulating on ahead to our next shift. In the third period of this one, down to 1440 to go. Down by two. So can we complete a comeback in this game. That one's loose. Jamie Alexiak's got it, but he gets knocked off the puck. Boom! Knocked that defender's face off. All right, Jonesy, you ain't getting that, man. Whoa, not even close to the direction I said to throw that. Johnson, oh, you son of a gun, you. All right, we're getting out of Chicago's zone. We're trailing behind a little bit. I'm trying to get on the other side of Johnson. It's not working. That was what, like Stenland? It is Stenland. Okay, to Johnson. Johnson, oh, in front of Stenland. What a hit! And Johnny Taves can't go anywhere with that one. And Jamie Alexiak trying to get it out of his own zone again. Johnny Taves is roughing him up. And, oh, no, he's alone. He's all by his lonesome. This is not a good place to be. Look at these sticks. Good sticks. Torts would be proud. Here we go. Oh, get out of my life, Stenland. Who are you? Here we go. Back on the ice. Deep in our own zone. What a defensive play. Whoa. 
And that, I think, was Oli Mata as well, right? Johnny Hockey into the zone, into the zone, and just refuses to shoot. Again, no one on this team will shoot the puck. They're just terrified. Get in front of the goalie. No, that one doesn't make it through. And Connolly loses that one to Larson. Goudreau, I'm just trying to get anywhere near anything resembling a net. It trickles through, and Yanni Gord's got one. Number 19 on the season after a hat trick game. My flippin' goodness. Yanni Gord. And I think DMAC may have gotten the secondary assist on that. I think just maybe. Yeah, that one. Okay, so that one hit Staylock, hit the post. Bounced back onto Staylock and just slow trickled all the way over the line. And with 10 minutes to go, dude, this is a... Oh, I didn't get the secondary assist. It was Jakob Larson who got the first assist, and it was Johnny Hockey who got the uh, secondary. Okay. But with 10 minutes to go in this game, we're back within one, man. Like, this, this is so doable now. But he just can't seem to get that one. And Connolly almost steals that one away from the Mac attack in front of his own net. And here comes Johnny Hockey to Yanni Gord. What a feed. What a feed. Nah, I couldn't get the pass across. So around behind the net. Get it back to the point. Larson in front. Mac attack. What a shot. And a big blocker. Stop. And Yanni Gord again with a great chance. Right in the slot. But a big save by Alex Stalock. Man. So we're still out on the ice. We've been out there for over 50 seconds. And we're still out there right now. But our shift will be coming to an end relatively soon, baby. Let's just get in front of that net. Oh, he couldn't get the shot off. Yanni Gord. Oh, where'd it go? No, Morgan Riley got it. I was about to poke check him. And it's like, bad idea, man. Two. Oh, we get a sim goal. Come on, boys. Oh, there it is. Jared McCann puts it past Alex Stalock to tie this game up at five. With 5.22 to go. In the third period, this very well could be our last shift, depending on how long it is. Patty Kane off the face off to Kirby Doc, but it hits a leg. Kaner getting tied up. That's what you want to see, baby. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You got to take it off him, man. I, I don't want to leave the slot. As soon as I leave the slot, every single human being on this team will follow me behind the net, and it's like game over. Johnny Hockey, no good. Whoa, I just like warped back to the puck. That was so weird. <laughs> A deed to the Mac, gets back on the ice, and there's Connor Murphy. Connor Murphy up to Patty Kane. There's a minute 20 to go. Patty Kane, oh yeah, he gets roughed up along the boards. I'm going for him. We're going to finish him off, bear. <laughs> Out in front, Alex the Cat, stop hitting him. Juju, imbecile. Why must you do these things? You hit him, you knocked him off the puck. Why do you hit him 16 more times? You're an idiot. Oh my goodness. Well, we're able to kill the clock. So we're going to overtime, but we're going to be shorthanded for like a damn minute when overtime starts. So put five minutes back on the clock as we attempt. We, we made the comeback. We made it all the way to overtime. We played fantastically. Larson's an idiot. And we got 52 seconds shorthanded, and we lost. Eight seconds in to the five-minute sudden death OT. The Chicago Blackhawks are able to take us down in overtime. But we got, at least we got a point out of it. We were down by two. We still got a point. So here we go. The third and final game of this video in California at the Honda Center. Down two to nothing at the halfway point of this one against the Anaheim Ducks. But this is the 70th game of the season. And the next episode we do, which I'm pretty sure is going to be Monday, is going to be an extended episode. And we are going to finish the regular season. After that, we will do a Denver Lewis Enforcer video, and then we are probably going to do uh, the first episode of the playoffs, and then it'll be time for the Christmas break, and then on Monday we will resume the playoffs. I might even put the Enforcer series kind of on a little bit more of a hold while we're doing the playoffs, just until we get her all done. DMAC dives down for a block, and it's no good. JG Pajo playing for the Anaheim Ducks. It's Sonny Milano. Don't leave him alone with Trevor Zegris. It's not a good idea. Here comes Johnny Hockey. Just walks in and takes the shot, but it gets blocked on its way. And look at these hits. Boom! <laughs> DMAC taking down multiple Anaheim Ducks players, but Danny DeKaiser. Oh, my goodness. Trailing into your own teammates all day, every day. And Grubauer's back again. For how many games this time, Gruby Doo? Grubauer has played five games this year. We have... Oh, look at this defensive play. Oh, and Yanni Gord's, like, just trying his damnedest to give it back away. 
But we have an objective, and our objective is to win back-to-back -back Stanley Cups. What a move. Oh, damn it. I was trying to get it across to Johnny Hockey, and it was no good. We're going to back pass that one to you. <gasps> Goudreau in front. Wha-boom! What a goal! <laughs> Number 49. Holy crap, moly. So in this game, or the next one, or something, DMAC could hit 50 goals on the season. Unbelievable. And after this, we still have 12 games left, man. Could we have this crazy goal-scoring run? Could we get 60? What a feed, though, man. Like, what a feed by Johnny Hockey. We draw, whoa, slowing down, coming into the zone. Whip, whip it on net. It's loose in front, but Johnny Hockey gets all tied up, and he can't do nothing with it. Final two and a half minutes of the second period, and here comes Ryan Strom, I think. And Maxime Comtois throws that one on net, and it's going to be covered up by Philip Grubauer. Oh, my goodness. So... Only down by one. Nearing the end of the second period. If this is another game that we could come back in and make this like super ultra mega wicked respectable, then I'd be happy with that. Okay, DMAC coming in towards the net. Now we're going to back that one off. Oh my goodness. Adam Larson almost had a great chance right there, but DMAC just about got beheaded by that shot. Oh man. All right, so easy little backhander on Grubauer. We're simulating on ahead. That's guaranteed to kill the second period. Yes, absolutely, positively. So we are going to continue our upward momentum into the third. So put 20 minutes back on the clock as always as we attempt to get rid of the lead that Anaheim has got over us. It's only a one-goal lead, one of, one of the worst leads in hockey because it is so fleeting. Here comes Yanni Gord. Oh, into the O-zone, and he gets... Decaffeinated, man. Absolutely moited on his way into the zone. And there's Stromer. Big shot. Nice blocker save by Groovy Doo. Matty Dumba. Over to Johnny Hockey. Up to Gio. Gio coming through center. Gets it to Yanni Gord. Yanni Gord takes a hit and no one goes for it. All right, I'm getting tied up in front of the net. Keep it in. Oh, nice pass. Nice pass. Back to you. Yanni Gord. Oh, he lost it. He lost. Oh, damn it. I thought maybe Gio would pinch for it, but like he. Half pinched, half backed off. And Maxime Comtois tries to go for that shot, and it's no good. D-Max got it. Whip it around the net in the D zone. Here we go. Y Yanni Gord, man. Yanni Gord coming through the neutral zone. He's entering the O zone. D-Max. Oh, my goodness. I tried to deke, but I was in too tight. I just didn't have the room. We're getting off the ice. There's our first shift. There we go. Getting back onto the ice. Troy Terry bringing it into the Seattle's. Oh, I tried to poke it off him. It didn't work. And Adam Henrique snipes it top shelf. 19th of the season. What a great face scan. Like, honestly, no sarcasm. That's a tremendous face scan they have for Adam Henrique. Looks fantastic. But I'm very sad that they just scored on us. All right, there we go. D to the Mac. Gets it up to Johnny Hockey. Johnny Hockey, a little drop feed to the Mac. Attack, big slapper through traffic. And it just misses that far post. And it's okay. I'll be your second defenseman for a second here. I'll back off into the uh, D zone. Matty Dumba, he's getting back. Oh, he's still got it. What a move. What a damn move by Matt Dumba. Here we go. Johnny Hockey. Johnny Hockey. No, he wasn't going to get it to me. Dumba. Off the crossbar. You got to be joking. <laughs> That's gross. I took it away and then lost it. Uh, kick it around the net. Oh, you got it, Yanni. Back to the point. Dumba. Oh, right in front. D-Mac. No, nah, no good. We're getting around the net. Oh, right in front. That's the easiest goal you will ever score in your life, Johnny. And that's number 31 on the season for Johnny Goudreau, assisted by the Mac Attack, who I don't think gets 100 points this year, but I do think gets close to 60 goals, if not 60. <laughs> and Johnny Hockey's got to be a point per game or better. Because the Ducks haven't exactly been riveting for the last couple of years. Oh, oh, Goudreau, no! <laughs> wide open what a goal oh my god johnny hockey ties the damn game with a redonkulous spinnerectomy through the five hole second of the night second of the period 30 second look at this just a spinnerectomy as gibson is coming across the other side and he's got that he's got those legs wide open man easy goal for johnny hockey but it doesn't make it any less impressive in DMAC with another nice juicy apple in this one. Gooley, lose this thing. There you go. Get knocked. Get knocked, chum. Here we go, baby. Johnny Hockey. Oh, gets it to Yanni Gord. That was maybe not the greatest pass you could have made there. You could have just held off. <gasps> but Yanni Gord with a big steal. And he's going. Johnny Hockey going for that hat trick. 
Throws it on that big stop by Gibson, man. Here we go, baby. I'm gonna, oh, I left it behind. Oh, my God. The humanity. Here we go. Gooley. Okay. Coming back towards the Seattle zone. Voice is dead to the world. Oh, yeah, there we go. The, the Larsons doing real good defensively. Here comes the Mac attack. Let's try this again. No Johnny Hockey in the way. Off the crossbar. You're joking. Jesus, it's criminal. <laughs> Turn back around. Let's get open. Back to Geo. Geo back to me. Oh, tried for the shot. Didn't work. Didn't get through. Okay, uh, get it over to Geo again. Geo, back to Goudreau. Back to Larson. I'm trying to get in front of the net. Oh, that one just sails high and wide. All right, get it back around behind to Gord. We're trying to get in front of this net. Gord's going to throw it away to Danny to Kaiser, and that's no good. 12 seconds to go. Don't you dare. Troy Terry. Yep, nice play. Just knock him off the puck. Um... Um, <laughs> see how it feels, Johnny? It feels like crap when your own teammate steals the puck from you, doesn't it? Ugh, so here we go. Let's do another five minutes sudden death overtime. So put five minutes back on the clock. One last flipping time as we attempt to take down the Anaheim Ducks. Look at the Seattle Kraken these days, man. Come back, Kings. I'm telling you, here at the Honda Center, we have been down by two goals in the third period back-to-back -back games and we have come back and we came back and won the first one let's see if we can come back and win this one as well man 3-3 in overtime that is not Johnny Goudreau that would be Joey Decord <laughs> oh what a feed by Dumba he he brought two guys with him here we go getting in the zone we're trying to trick him a little bit here oh spinnerectomy Yanni Gord oh baby I'm wide open oh decent oh come on <laughs> off the post and wide of the net. Oh, right in front. Oh, and he does a stupid backhander for no damn reason. Oh. <laughs> so tell me, tell me that you don't want me to win the game without telling me you don't want me to win the game. EA Sports. All right. No, uh, dude. <laughs> let's go. Freaking stupido. Let's go. D to the Mac. Was in bold for a second there for whatever reason. Yanni Gord, I'm, bra I'm backing off a little bit because Yanni Gord, I knew, I knew he was going to throw it away. Because this is a perfect example of a game this that that EA Sports does not want me to win. Matty Dumba just walks in. Nice chance. Didn't have the room to get the moves done that he wanted. And that one pops loose. I'm still backing off. Matty Dumba. Oh, we're loose. Yanni Gord. What a move! That was gross! Oh my god! Yanni Gord with the goal of the damn year in overtime! 23rd of the season and that one's gonna win it and we're glitching out again <laughs> that goal was gross dude that was no i'm not even joking when i say that was the goal of the year man anyway that is going to do it for me for this one don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already there's new videos coming on the freaking time and until next time you beautiful melon farmers happy holidays and have a good one